Hey guys, my name is Shivam and I just wanted to walk you through how to set up your LEM list campaign for the first time uh, and what LEM warm settings to also use when you've got a totally fresh account. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, let's just get it started. So I've created this little document for you guys, which you can find in the description in case you don't want to keep coming back to the video. Uh, here we've got how to set up your LEM warm, how to load emails and scripts and how you can also revisit your campaign stats. So we'll just get started as soon as you obviously log on to your uh, Lemlist account, you will be taken to editor right over here. Uh, make sure that you are on the paid plan, of course. If, for example, you are uh, using Lemlist for the first time and you have a totally fresh email domain, I would recommend you to use email warm up for $30 a month just so that you can get your email warmed up uh, because you anyway won't be sending out any emails during that time. <laughs> Once that's done, you can uh, reach the email outreach plan. This this mostly has everything, which is $60 a month. It is a bit pricey, but I would say Lemlist is worth it. And it's by far one of the best uh, softwares out there yet. Uh, anyway, so if we go on to your, as soon as you set up everything, uh, you can just come on to your settings. You go on to Lemworm. Uh, as you can see, for my Lemworm settings, I've got 40 emails per day with a ramp up of three emails a day. Uh, my email is about three months old and i've been warming it up for three months so i can send out the volume of 40. Uh, for you i would recommend if it's a, a new domain i would recommend you this number to be 20 and the ramp up to be one uh, as you can see over here we have that 20 emails per day with a ramp up of one per day uh, this is something that i would recommend coming back i would say just run the campaign for about two to three weeks and then you can of course start sending out your email uh, to set up your first email, you'll come on to your editor right over here. You can see there's a new campaign button over here. Just click on new campaign and we'll be naming this campaign the SMM for CBD. So in this campaign, I'll be reaching out to CBD brands. Make sure that you uh, name your campaign well because this is something that you can identify, especially if you're running multiple campaigns. The next step would be to import your leads. Uh, you can import it from CSV, from LinkedIn, directly through a CRM. Uh, I recommend always using a CSV file uh, to have all your leads in a Google document, right? Like this, in a Google Sheet. As you can see, we've got our CBD plans right over here. We've got the company name, the website, the location, their first name, their last name, the title, the email, the LinkedIn, the Facebook, the Instagram. Obviously, we don't need all of this, but it's good to have everything for you. Uh, in case you need help with your leads, you can check the first link in the description. That's what my company does. We help you prospect leads and write first lines for them. Uh, so what I would just do is come over here and I would just download it and I would download it as a CSV file. Uh, as simple as that. Come on to your LEM list and just click import from a CSV file. And you can just simply upload your CSV file from right over here. You can see I've got CBD X1 line labs right here. Now we got everything. Usually if you have your columns named well, Lemlist will automatically pick them up. Most of them we don't need. So for example, company name already shows us up as company name. We don't need the website. We don't need the location. We of course need the first name. We need the last name. Title is also something we don't need. This campaign is not that much towards LinkedIn. So we need to remove that as well. We don't need the Instagram, the Facebook. That was a variable as well. Example, if you had an icebreaker over here, you would just click on icebreaker right here and that would be your custom variable. You will see what custom variables are used for later on in the video. Now just click on next right over here. Now you can do lead enrichment. So you can obviously search for what lead enrichment is, but uh, we our leads are already enriched, so we don't need that. So you can just click on the thank you. You can say if you want to import leads that are duplicate, usually you want to say no. But since I reach out to a lot of the same leads with different offers, I'll just say I'm okay with uh, duplicates across my team. Uh, and as you can see, your 100 leads have been added to the campaign. We'll just continue on from there. Uh, we don't have a CRM that we use currently, so I'll just say no thank you. We track them directly through Lemlist. Uh, when you're creating a new campaign, uh, and if you're creating it for the first time, Lemlist would ask you to create a new schedule. I would recommend you to do Monday to Friday. For time zone, I would just say do it according to the time zone that you're actually reaching out to. Since we're reaching out to US uh, leads and UK leads, I just click, like to do it US time because UK time can be a bit iffy. 
uh, and you can just do a 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. slot over. This is the thing that I would suggest Monday to Friday because Saturdays, Sundays, usually people don't respond to the emails. You can see you'll get a choice. If you have multiple emails connected, you'll have multiple choices on what domain you want to use. Uh, and that's it. You'll just create your sequence. Now you'll come onto the page where you will actually be making out the email. If you don't have any script, I would suggest you use email inspirations to actually write one down. Lemlist has them pretty good. Uh, if you already have one, just click on blank right over here. And there you come onto this page. So you've got your subject and you've got what you actually will be sending out in the email. Here is the email that I've gotten. Uh, so let's start with the subject. I am using really impressed with company name. And yeah, let me just click over here. I will copy paste this right over here. Now this company name, we need to have a custom variable so that it changes with every lead. I click on custom variable and click company name. And yeah, it should come. So I'll just copy paste that. You can see really impressed with company name. As for your campaign, you can see here I've got the whole campaign. And this is the first email that we'll be sending out. So I'll just copy and paste this right over here. So for this, you just need to click on custom variable and switch it out. So for example, I want with every email, the first name also changes. So I'll just click on first name right over here, backspace is because we don't want this space. So it'll come out as, hey, first name, to whoever it's sending it out to. As over here, I would want the company name to be each company's name. I would just switch it out with company name. And same with any variables that you basically have. So for example, if you had an icebreaker, you would just say, hey, first name, and then add a custom variable and click on icebreaker. So add your icebreaker right over here. Since this campaign is an unpersonalized one, we won't need that. You can see we've got company name right over here, which I've already changed. We've got company name right over here. So all of these would switch out with the brand that you're actually reaching out to. For the follow-up email, I would recommend at least a two-day window uh, for, for follow-up. Again, we'll go with a blank. So now over here, you need to leave the subject line uh, blank if you want the email to come out in a thread format. If you want them to be sent out as individual emails, you can just put in another subject line over here. But if you're sending out a follow-up, I wouldn't recommend you to have it as a separate email because the client, if they look out for your third email, they won't have access to the first or second unless they search for you. So I would just avoid that extra step and just leave that blank. Here you can see this is my second email. Let me know if you want me to go in depth into what uh, cold email template has worked best for me and how you can write your own as well. Uh, here we've got just again the first name that we'll be doing a custom variable with, hey, first name, that's about it. Uh, and again, we don't have anything over here that we need to uh, change. Here is our third email. So this is a six email campaign. Let me know if you want me to go over the, all the six emails. I'll just be showing you the first three emails for example basis. Here again, we go on over here, we copy and paste this, and we just need the first name right over here. So we'll just click on custom variable and we'll go on first name. And you can see other than that, we just have the company name right over here, which I've already changed. So this is basically the three emails that we'll be going for. Over here, I'm just gonna do a three-day window for the third email. Next, we'll just we just save it over here. You can set up an EB test as well. I'll teach you that in another video. Uh, here you can see I would want to reach out to leads every 25 minutes. So we are sending out approximately 21 to 20 emails a day. We can even do it 20 if I want to reach out to uh, more leads. And if I want to reach out to lesser leads, obviously I can just create the time difference as well. Uh, here uh, you can see between uh, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. is what I'm going to be reaching out to. Uh, we just save this as 20 minutes. Just make sure you're saving everything because Lemlist is a bit finicky about it. And once you go into settings, you can again change your campaign name, uh, your email address that you're going to be replying to. Make sure that this you have tick. This basically means as soon as a lead responds to your email, the cycle breaks and they will receive any of your follow ups. Obviously, if a person has said they're interested and two days later they receive an other email from you it just doesn't look that professional so i would always tick this if your aim is to get a link click on an article or something along those lines obviously just click on click on a link and you can just put in the uh, keyword to your blog right over here 
and then it will create a new task when your lead replies to an email basically you get a notification about that i would recommend you to track everything just so you can get a better idea uh, then remove duplicate email addresses from the imported leads. So basically, if you've imported 120 leads and out of those 120, 20 are uh, leads that you've already reached out to in, in the same campaign, then it will just get rid of those. So I just save this right over here. And now comes the review part. This is where you can see if everything is all right. So for example, you can see all our custom variables are now changed. So you can see really impressed with Vitality Health CBD. And we've got hey Justin right over here. And wherever we had company name, it's it's all changed up to the variable that we saw. Hey, I was going through Instagram and came across company name. So you can see I was going through uh, Instagram and came across that's the company name. So you can see all our uh, emails right over here. You can just scroll down. You can see again, we've got hey Justin right over here. Then we've got the first name right over here. And yeah, this is basically, you can just go on two or three just to make sure that it's all right. So for example, this we didn't have the first name for. So we just replaced the uh, first name with Chili Wax CBD team uh, so that it makes sense. Then you've got Hey Brian with Dr. Hemp Me. Uh, again, we've got uh, the Formula Swiss Norway team. I would recommend if you don't have the first name, just go with the team name because that way, uh, whoever the email reaches out to, it, it still seems a bit personalized in my opinion. And yeah, after that, all you have to do is review it. You can just review one, review 10, review 100, and review all. If you click on review all, you can just double check. And if you want, you can just contact all your leads, click OK. And yeah, that's about it. That is something that your campaign would have. Your campaign is running. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you need any other help. I would have the document right down over there. You can check it out and you can subscribe to the channel for more such videos. We'll be releasing many more cold email templates, how to write your subject lines, how to get more responses, how to write your personalized first lines, how to hire for the right email and much more. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video and uh, let me know if you need any help. You will have all my socials down below. Feel free to message me and I'll be happy to help you guys. Talk to you soon. See you in the next one. Bye.